everybody, I'm Elena and today we're gonna try together my top five favorite red lipsticks that I have pulled out here for you guys and without further ado I will just show them to you and uh, yeah first things first I would say that the easiest red that I have in my collection and fear not because I have a really good do is this my, fav my favorite sheer red, I don't know if I said that, is this YSL Volupte, Volupte Sheer Candy number no. 6. Which looks like this. And as you can see, I really dig this. This is really a no brainer lip shade. And it swatches really sheer. Hmm. So you can see it has this really moisturizing effect and this re light refract reflecting, sorry, I don't know if I can speak ever, power, this light reflecting power that really gives you a beautiful natural sheen to your lips with this red hue, but you still don't look overdone if you know what I'm saying. So if you are not in the market for spending that much money. Uh, this was a crazy spend of mine. I would say a good dupe. It's not as moisturizing, but the same color, same payoff, and everything is this L'Oreal Caress in Rebel Red. If it will focus here, and it looks like this. And I have also wear, worn this a lot. And as you can see, this is a little bit more tomatoey color, but the final finish it would be the same sheer idea of red so this is more cherry this is more tomato but other than that they are pretty similar so I am just gonna go ahead and apply the um, sheer candy on my lips and for this I don't this is why I say it's a no-brainer red I don't use a lip liner or anything so So I have tried to go through to true reds because there are really bluer reds or pinkier reds that really I really dig a lot and I really like how they look but I try to stay true to the true red. So this would be the Volupte in number 6 or 9, it's, it's number 6 and it looks like that. Okay, so my second to favorite one, it's really hot in here, I don't know if you can see me catching a little bit of a sweat, but I have to film with the windows closed and it's really hot outside. Anyway, it would be this um, more pomegranate red from uh, Max Factor and it's this Scarlet Go Ghost shade. And for this, I would recommend to start using the lip liner. And I would say if you really want to pull off a beautiful red lip, you have to go over it with the, for instance, the NYX Wonder Pencil or a concealer, you know, doing the negative line on your lips to, once you have light your lips to make it be more beautiful, to make a more beautiful uh, crisp finish. But today I'm gonna go with this NYX Fruit Punch which also is a pomegranate liner. And I would say don't spend too much money in liners because you can really use a clear liner such as this one from Sephora or there are many other brands of clear lip liners that will do just the same work. Or you can just take a pencil brush and, you know, draw your lips. As you can see, this is a really beautiful summery red, almost bordering into a fuchsia, but it is still red. And it applies really beautiful, it's opaque, it has this creamy finish, so it's not matte, it's not shiny. So there's that. Moving on, let's go to a true, true, true red, like as red as it can go. And for this purpose, I have this L'Oreal, again, Color Rich. 
uh, number 335 Carmen Saint Germain and it's a Carmen color as it says in here and I'm just gonna apply it for you and for this I will apply this with the slip liner from Essence which is called Red Blush So there it is, you know, I am uh, applying it quite fast so uh, it really has to be chiseled and whatnot to look more sharp, more crisp, well applied. but I am not getting this close like boom to the mirror because <laughs> this way you wouldn't see me so uh, maybe it's not as good but this is a classic red, a true classic red as you can see with the classic finish and this you can really pull it off any time in a look and it looks no wrong with any outfit. Next I will show you this uh, also of L'Oreal, what do you know, Colorish in Blake's Pure Red which, from the Red Collection and it's this beautiful matte red. It's a really standard classic red that it really complements for fair skin tones and this I am gonna apply with a clear lip liner just so you can see you can really pull this off with a lip, clear lip liner. So what a clear lip liner does is to keep the lipstick from feathering out and going out the line that you just created so that's the general idea and I'm gonna go with in with the Blake's uh, Pure Red. So it looks like this, and this is a really harsh application. I really take my time when I apply a red lip, but today is just to show you the shade and how it applies, just how it looks on the face and not how you can really get the finish, but you see this is a matte color. Now, nowadays matte colors are really on trend, so it's a really beautiful classic red and you can really pull it off. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you my all-time favorite classic uh, red lip. There are many other <laughs> red shades, I have a ton of red shades that I have, but when I really want to go for pull of a red, a no-brainer, classic, matte, beautiful, true to classic standards red, if you know what I'm saying, I take the MAC Russian Red, and here you can see the color, and this I always apply with a lip brush because I really don't want to be uh, any color messing with this. I think it's really beautiful and I think also, I think, <laughs> look, I'm already applying it. I also think that lots of people are bananas about the Ruby Woo, but I really prefer the Russian Red over the Ruby Woo from MAC, so there's that. And without further ado, I will just take my time and draw my lips with the lip pencil. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I apply lipstick, I squint, you know, like I close my eyes, like this. So I try my best to not do, to not doing it, but still. So this is Russian Red from MAC and as you can see it's a really beautiful matte classic red shade, no brainer. I said, <laughs> already said that, but I will say it again, I prefer this to Ruby Woo, so if you happen to go over a MAC counter before getting just Ruby Woo without even testing, I, mean, I would really recommend you guys at least test it on your hands and see what it's all about so I think this is a really beautiful shade and right now with this foundation that it is super tan it looks like more nothing but when I am uh, my natural color which is pasty pale this really pulls off this snow white look if you know what I'm trying to say so these are my top five favorite red True red sh lip shades because other than that we could go to pinker reds or we could go to 
darker maroon uh, reds if you know what I'm saying for the winter or whatnot but if we stay true to the what we understand what we think about when we say red lip this would be my top five favorites so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget also to click the subscribe button down below it really helps me a lot and leave a comment and see you in the next one bye